Welcome back, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this diagonally cut um, text. So stay tuned. All right. So the other day I posted this um, design in our groups and um, I want to show you how I created this word um, that kind of um, is split diagonally. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to add some text here. Uh, I'm going to add the word break and I'm just going to make that a little bit larger so that I can actually um, see it better on my workspace. And uh, I am going to go to elements and I'm going to grab um, a shape. Um, well, I, what I want is, oh, that is not what I wanted. Okay. Um, I want a shape. Okay. So just in case you didn't know, um, actually, um, you can switch the shape to anything you want by just clicking this um, tab on the menu bar. Um, and what I want is a rectangle. So I'm just going to um, rotate my um, rectangle or sorry, triangle. And I'm going to kind of create like a diagonal cut. And I'm going to make that a little bit smaller or narrower, I mean, and um, I think that is fine like that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the color of, or I'm, I can leave it as pink. Maybe I'll make it a, a darker color like um, fuchsia for now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab two squares and stick with me. Uh, on this. Um, something like this does require a little bit of um, a little bit of finagling, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to put it uh, on the other side. And stick with me. Don't leave me just yet. Um, and I'm going to try and butt it up as close as possible to the um, fuchsia triangle. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a negative and a positive text. So one will be um, black text with um, white um, in the middle and the other will uh, black out the text around the triangle but show through the text where the triangle is, if that makes sense. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and um, I'm going to take that and I'm going to remove it. Now stick with me. This will make sense to you in a few minutes. Okay. Um, and I'm going to change that to white. Okay. Um, so this is, I'll call it my positive text. Okay. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to remove my fuchsia but I'm going to change these to white. Okay, so now I've got my positive and my negative, and this should come into this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download page four and five as PNGs. Okay, so I'm going to download PNG, page four, Okay, let's download that. And now I'm going to download page page five. Get 
download that. And now I'm going to bring them into my new page. So I'm going to grab each one. Okay, so these are my two images. And you know they're images because it says here, edit photo. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background now. So I'm going to come to edit photo and I'm going to use BG Remover to remove the background. I'm just going to make sure, yes, the background is removed. Now I'm going to come here and I'm going to remove the background for this one as well. Now, as far as the colors go, uh, you'll notice that they're both black. And I mean, we could use black um, if that's what you want to do. Um, that is totally up to you. Um, maybe you can even um, toggle the transparency of one of them and bring it down a little bit like that. Um, but you can also change the color. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, just stick with me. Okay, so um, I want to just... Maybe what I'll do is I'll make this one a little bit bigger. All right, so let's change the colors. Okay, so we've got two that are black here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, toggle the transparency, make it 100% opaque for that uh, insert. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle piece. I'm going to go to edit photo and I'm going to go to duo tone. And uh, depending on what color you want to make it, um, I think I'm going to choose that one, but I'm going to do that. Make it bright blue. And then I'm going to grab the other one and go again, go to duo tone. And um, maybe I'll change it to red. Um, no, I'm just going to move that over here. And I'm going to bring that up. Okay, and that is how I created that effect um, with the vertical uh, text cutout. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you did, please don't forget that to press that like button and subscribe to receive notifications of when new content comes out. For now, I will say bye-bye, my friends. Until next time.